Hey guys, how's it going? Now, Apple has added a lot of features to Apple FaceTime and it's become so good. Like it's literally one of the best video calling apps out there. And not just for iOS now, you can even use FaceTime on Android. And if you want to know more about that, check out our dedicated video on that here. But moving past that, a lot of features have been added that a lot of folks don't really know about. And well, that's why this video exists. This is one from Guiding Tech. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the top FaceTime tips and tricks that every user should know about. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. All right, now picture this. You're sitting in your living room, having to attend a FaceTime call, be it for work or with your family, but your room is super messy. Wouldn't it be great if you could just blur the background? Well, with FaceTime, you can. All you have to do is that when you're on a call, just tap on your video preview to enlarge it. Now, tap on the toggle in the top left corner of the preview. This will enable portrait mode and blur your background, as you can see from the preview. Now, to disable portrait mode, once again, just tap on the same toggle again. Speaking of messy backgrounds, well, you just got an idea of where I'm heading. Uh, it's not just messy videos in your back. It can be background noises as well. That can be super annoying. I mean, while recording this video, I had to take so many breaks because of the random noises in the like nearby rooms. But nonetheless, while my camera does not have it, FaceTime actually gives you a feature for eliminating all the background noises. With the FaceTime call running, access the control center on your device. Now, tap and hold onto the mic mode toggle in the control center. From here, choose the relevant mode. Standard is the default mode, which basically does not change how the other party hears you. Switching to voice isolation will try to cut down on the background noise while emphasizing your voice. Lastly, we have wide spectrum, which will let through the sounds in a background. So if you're in a conference or a concert, it will pick up the sound from far away. Now, another great feature about FaceTime is that you can easily capture a screenshot of whatever is on your viewfinder. And you can obviously use it for editing later on. Now, one thing to note here is that the other party will get notified about it, which is actually good. You know, you should respect everyone privacy but here's how to actually go about it now during a call tap on the video feed of the opposite party you will see a small capture button in the bottom right corner tap on it your iphone or ipad will capture the picture and save it in the photos app all right so forget your background sometimes even your face is not worth looking at like mine but anyway apple has given you the option of using animojis and even memojis to replace your face during a facetime call when on a call just tap on your video preview to enlarge it now, tap on the toggle in the bottom left corner of your preview. This will enable effects. From here, select the first option in the bottom to enable Memojis and Animojis. Scroll through the available options, tap on one to use it, and then just replace your face in the preview. Speaking of changing the way you look, FaceTime also gives you the option of using filters to make yourself look, well, a bit more likable. To do that, when you're on a FaceTime call, just tap on your video preview to enlarge it. Now, tap on the toggle in the bottom left corner of your screen. Like I said, this will enable effects. Now, select the second option at the bottom to enable filters. Scroll through the list of available options and tap on one to use it. You can see the change taking place in the preview window. Now, suppose you're in a group video call and there's something that you've been trying to say, but people are just ignoring you. Well, you can actually add a banner or a persistent text on your video frame for everyone to notice it immediately whenever they look at your footage. To do that, open your video preview and then tap on the toggle in the bottom left corner. Now, select the third option at the bottom to add text. From here, you can choose from a wide array of available styles for your text. You can add a chart bubble, a banner, or even an emoji. Finally, enter the text that you want to add. And that's it. As long as your face is visible in the video, the text will float next to it. You can also drag and drop the text anywhere in the video to change its position. Last but definitely not the least, FaceTime also allows you to share your screen while on a video call. To do that, in the banner at the top of the call screen, just tap on the last option. From here, select the share my screen option that appears. And that's it. The contents of your screen will now be shared. The purple pill here can identify this at the top of the screen around that time. In order to stop sharing your screen, just return to the FaceTime app and that's it. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Ron from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.